Profe, buenas noches. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Por acá, pendiente, pendiente. Okay. Profe, en el caso de la evaluación, va a ser la última clase, el día lunes. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo mandaron lo de la evaluación? De ¿Cómo es este? Sí, la evaluación o... o, o donde pone uno lo de los datos y todo. Eso va a ser la última clase. Sí. Sí, sí el lunes. Ok, copiado. Teacher, what day is the last class? Hola. What day is the last class? Monday. On Monday. On time for starting here. Estas Julias. <laughs> oh, yeah. No lo digo por la diversión, sino por el trabajo extra. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Teacher, en unos 10 minutitos me conecto formalmente. Ahorita voy que te camino a casa. Ok, ok. Very good. Okay, now. Good evening, teacher. 
Good evening. Guys, I'm checking here the homework. Wow, well, there are two. There are two still pending unit three. Come on, guys. And And one is still pending the exam. Okay. And with unit four, almost on unit four. Hay unos que ni la han comenzado, la unit four, se les están acumulando. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hay otros que ya la terminaron. Muy bien. Hay otros que van al paso, pero la mayoría está atrás. Con la unit four. Y acuérdense que tienen examen también para el examen final que no se atrasen con eso porque lunes sí se cierra lunes a la medianoche se cierra Okay, let's get started this evening with the first attendance of the evening. So please cameras and respond. Alba Janet Jimenez. No. Andrea Sofía Benítez. Present teacher. Perfect. Welcome. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present. Very good. Welcome. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Present teacher. Hey, Eric. Uh, Eric Jose Hernandez. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Very good. Germán Enrique González. Present teacher. Ok. Jennifer Listet Aquino. José Abel Izaguirre. Here present teacher. Ok. José Miguel Maza. Present teacher. Ok. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Present. Good. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Ok. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Good. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Wendy Lisset Gómez. Oh. 
Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy, uh, the 10 minutes at the end of the class are with you tonight. Okay? Okay, teacher. Wilber Alberto Perez. Wilber. Yes. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Perfect. And Henry Alberto Perez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Okay. Oops, 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 oops. A coffee. Well, let me see. I have something here. Okay, I want to practice a little bit more. The uh, be going to be going to and in different forms. I mean, affirmative, negative, and uh, questions. Yes, no question and information question. So give me a second, I'm going to... Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm going to send you a chart here in WhatsApp. Okay. There you are. There is a chart, let me show it to you. Okay, look at this chart. In this chart, you can see affirmative sentences and the structure for the sentences, okay? For example, here you have the structure for affirmative sentences. Here you have the structure for negative sentences. This is the structure for yes, no questions. And this is the structure for information questions. And I uh, give you here an example of what are you going to do. First, I'll give you an affirmative sentence. For example, I am going to work on, sun on Sunday. The negative, I am not going to work on Sunday. Yes, no question. Are you going to work on Sunday? Yes, I am. An information question. Who is going to work on Sunday? I am. Okay, or I am going to. So in this other um, line, so you have the affirmative, then you have to complete with the negative, the yes, no question, and the information question. Then I gave you the negative, you have to complete with the other sentence. All right. Next, you I give you the yes, no question. You have to write the affirmative and the negative and the information question, etc. Any question with this activity, people? Is it clear? No questions? Perfect. So uh, I'm going to put you in small groups to work together, to make it easier, to discuss, to practice. Okay.
Okay, there you have the invitation. Join your groups, please, and complete the chart. With the and enable the option for sharing screen. Sure, 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 sure. Thanks. Very nice. Go to your groups, please, and complete the chart.
Okay, welcome back. Let's see. Okay, let's work on this sentences. Be going to now the negative form. Uh, let me ask one of you. Okay, Wilbur, can you read me the negative form of this sentence? Sandra is going to complete the report. Negative form, please. Sandra is not going to complete the report. <laughs> Good. We're going to use. Right. Okay, good. Um, let's see, Henry, the yes, no question for this sentence, please. Is Sandra going to complete the report? Yes, she is. Okay, the answer, yes, she is. Good. Now, Wendy, Maricela, an information question for this sentence, please. Wendy, Maricela. Okay. Who is going to work on something? I am, I am going. Question. I want to work. No. I am. No, no estamos hablando de, de ustedes. Ah, perdón, teacher. Sandra is going to complete the report. Ah, no perdón. Es... Y hay que hacer la pregunta. Por ejemplo, preguntemos who, quién, ¿Qué podríamos, qué podríamos preguntar con quién. ¿Quién va a completar el reporte? ¿Cómo preguntaría usted eso? ¿Quién va a completar el reporte? Person. ¿Cómo preguntar? ¿Cómo haría usted esa pregunta? No, no sé, teacher. Ok, problem, no problem. Preguntémosle no entonces a. Me confundí toda, teacher. Hola. Me confundí toda. Ah, ok, ok. No, no hay problema. ¿Quieren por favor bajarle eso? Observe por acá. Preguntémosle entonces a, a ver, aquí, a Carlos, ¿cómo sería la pregunta acá, Carlos? La oración es, Sandra is going to complete the report. Vamos a hacer una pregunta con who. Who is, who is going to complete the report? 
Okay. The report and the answer? She is Sandra. Oh, Sandra. Okay, Sandra is. Okay. Sandra is. Okay, very good. Now let's continue with Andrea. You and Sam are not going to leave early today. Esa es la negative. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería the affirmative? You and Sam are going to leave early today. You and Sam are going to leave. Okay, very good. Perfect. Let's continue with uh, Jose, Jose Massa. Jose, not responding. Okay, William. What is the yes, no question for this? You and Sam are going to leave early today. Yes, no question? Um, he's, uh, are, are, huh? are you, are you going to, to leave early today? Are you? Solo, solo se habla de mí? No. Uh, are they? No. No. ¿De quién es and esta Sam. Ah. You and Sam. Are you and Sam? So, Going to leave early today? ¿Cómo responderíamos a esta pregunta? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Parece que ahí estoy yo incluido. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver. Eric José, una information question here. Eric José, who are who are going to leave early today? No sé si está bien así. <laughs> Okay. okay. La respuesta de you and Sam. Okay, mm -hmm. vamos a ver. Good, dejémoslo así. Now let's continue with next. Very good. Uh, well, Jennifer, tenemos aquí. Are we going to have lunch in the cafeteria? Question. Pongamos una respuesta ya. Yes, we are. ¿Cómo sería una affirmative sentence? We are going to have lunch in the cafeteria. Okay, very good. Uh, 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 uh. 
Herman, a negative sentence here. Uh, okay, this. Uh, we are not going to have lunch in the cafeteria. In the cafeteria. Okay. A ver, Henry, hagamos una pregunta usando where. Where are we going to have lunch? Where? Where are we going to have lunch? <clears throat> In the cafeteria. A ver, Henry, algo falta ahí. We are going. Sí y no. Eso es, pero no ahí. Bueno. ¿Qué falta? When are we? No. Are. Ah. Where, where are? Where are? Ah, okay. are we? Yes. Where, where are, we? are we going to have lunch? Good. Now, the last one. When are they going to fix this computer? This afternoon. Okay, an affirmative sentence. Vamos con Magdiel. Hay una pregunta. When are they going to fix this computer? Oh, sure. This afternoon. Una affirmative sentence ahí. It's good. They are going to fix this computer. Okay, they are going to fix this computer. Okay, ¿qué más? Hay información ahí que nos falta. In the afternoon. Okay, this afternoon. Okay. A ver, funny. Negative sentence for this? Are they going to, to feed this computer in the afternoon? They, yes, they are. Eso no es negative sentence, Fanny. Ah, sorry, teacher. Okay. <laughs> they, they are not going to feed this computer in the afternoon. Okay. <laughs> they are not going to be okay, very good. Alista, muy bien. And finally, ya se las regaló ahí Fanny. Con atención. Eh, Consuelo, Sara E. Yes, no question for this. Are they going to? Fix this computer. In the afternoon. Uh -huh, the afternoon. This afternoon. This afternoon. Okay, very good. Okay. Perfect. Any question with this exercise, people?
No questions. Okay, let's do something. Teacher. Hola. Eh, para el uso de, de, de este going to, como es una acción a futuro, ¿verdad? solamente eh, se usa el verbo en su forma base, ¿verdad? no se puede conjugar con otro tipo. No. No. Uh -huh. su forma básica. Correcto. Any other question, people? Okay. Okay, so I want you to write uh, three Write three activities Terror. you are going, give me a second, to do next week at work. Three activities you are going to do next week at work. And Two activities you are not going to do next week at work. So we are talking about work activities, not vacations, not beach, no. Let's talk about activities at work. So write three activities you are going to do next week at work, que ya las tienen programadas. And two activities you are not going to do next week at work. ¿Sí? ¿Alguien quería decir algo hace un rato? Sí, teacher, si sí, puede proponer nuevamente la, la, el cuadro que estaba proyectando. Ah, ok. Mi inquietud es en las, en las preguntas de W, H, uh -huh. en, en los ejercicios, en las, en las, cuando no, usamos who, no es necesario usar el pronombre, pero veo que en, eh, cuando hemos usado where, sí ha ido, sí se ha incluido, entonces esa es mi, mi, mi inquietud, si, si tiene que ir o no. Eh, tiene que ir el pronombre por ejemplo en where decimos where are we claro pero en, en who en la previa que está who are going ahí no decimos no. entonces esa es mi duda no es necesario que vaya no porque eso es lo que está preguntando quién verdad Ok. El sujeto que es el que se usa acá, ¿verdad? Where are we going to have lunch? Recuerdan, aquí tenemos la estructura, ¿no? La palabra de pregunta, el verbo to be, sujeto, going to y el verbo. En who no hay sujeto. ¿Por qué? Porque es lo que estoy preguntando. Está en el who, el sujeto, perdón, viene a aparecer en la respuesta. Este es el único caso de, de las WH que no va el sujeto. Claro, porque es lo que se pregunta. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, any other question, people? Ok, entonces hagan eso, esa lo que les pedí, please write three activities you are going to do next week at work. Three activities that you have already planned. And two activities that you are not going to do next week at work. Please, when you finish, raise your hand.
Okay, people, uh, I'm going to take the second attendance while you are working. Okay, so please respond. Alba Janet Jimenez. Not here today. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Good. Osuelo Saray Rivas. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Eri José Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present teacher. Good. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Good. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good. José Abel Izaguirre. Present teacher. Perfect. José Miguel Maza. Present teacher. Uh, okay. Sí, buen trabajo, pero por acá estoy. Ok. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Present. Good. Magdiel Esaú García. Present. Ok. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Ok. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Wendy Lisset Gómez. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Good. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Ok. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present teacher. Okay, and Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Good. Okay, people, I'm going to send you to working group for a moment to share your, your sentences. Share your activities, talk about the activities you are going to do this week and the activities you are not going to do this week, okay? Let me recreate the groups here. Okay, join your groups, please, and talk about your future activities, your future plans. See you in 10 minutes.
Okay, welcome back. Very good. Okay, I want you to tell me one, only one activity you are going to do and one activity you are not going to do. Okay, o only okay, one sir. and one. All right. Let's start with um, ooh, one volunteer. Okay, Wilbur. I'm going to install free GPS in Santa Ana. Okay. And one that you are not going to do? Uh, I'm not going to do, uh, I'm not going to visit clients. Okay, perfect. Okay, Wilbur, escoge otro. Otro classmate. Okay, uh, random, random. Uh, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Hey. One and I am, one. I am going to attend a meeting in Monday. I am not going to participate in training about Panorama apps. Okay, very good. Next, Carlos. Vamos a elegir del mismo grupo, Germán. Ok. Ok. Eh, for me is... Eh, I am going to visit to my brother in San Miguel. And I am not... I am not going to stay here at home this weekend. Okay, I am not going stay. I'm okay. going to stay. Okay, next, Her Herman. Uh, Jennifer, they said Akina. Okay. Jennifer. Uh, I am going to send text uh, I am not to to call to call the manager of brunch okay pass the ball Jennifer mm. ver. Raul uh, Raul no teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I going to visit Santana Volcano. Uh huh. I I'm not going to meeting in this weekend. I'm not going to meet or have a meeting. Uh, okay. Don't have a meeting. Next, Raul. Okay, Magdiel. Ya regreso. Voy a dejar a ese casa. Ya regreso, ya regreso. Okay. Thank you, Raul. No problem. I am going to meet in next Monday with a security commitment. Okay. I am going to leave of work of work the next week to other job. I am oh. going to go out lunch with my coworker the next Friday. In negative sentence, I am not going to work the next week. I am not going to get up early the next Monday. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Congratulations. Good luck in your new job. Thank you. Okay, uh, who's who's next, Magdiel? Um, 
Eric Jose. Hey, Eric. Uh, uh, I am going to help the clients for use the system. And I am not going to gain in the world. Okay. Next, please. Uh, Sandra. Quiero ver si está Sandra. No, quiero ver. Blanca, Alejandra. Blanca. I'm going to write a report to my job next week. And I am not going to visit client next week. Okay. Next, please. Andrea Sofia. Andrea. Okay. Hola. Your turn. Um, I am going to make tax declaration. I am going to make both guests for clients. I am going to make the reports information finance financial. Okay. Who's next? Mm. Honey, Judith. Honey. Okay. I am going to training on Monday at um, 9 a.m. Uh, I am not going to, to send email. Okay. Next. Henry. Henry. La bolsa. I'm going to meet with the sales team. I am not going to take days off. Okay. Next, please. Vamos con... Wilber. Wilber fue primero. Ah, sí. Ahorita a ver quiénes están aquí. Consuelo. Consuelo, ok. I'm going to work on Sunday all day. I'm not going to work on Sunday all day. I'm going to work on Sunday all day. Ah, no, así no era eso. Quiero verme ahí, me peluche. <risa> going. Esa no, no sé, esa no la hice. En pregunta. Oops, no, me... no era eso, no era eso. Ah. Activities that you are going to do and activities that you are not going to do. Ay, Dios, profe. No me puse atención. Sorry. <risa> Okay. How's the ball, Consuelo? Uh, Pedro. Okay, Pedro. Okay, vamos. I am going to present the plans of the new project this need with. I am going to finish the installation of the electrical generator this next week, uh, I am going to training of HVAC on Monday. Okay. I am not going to travel to San Miguel this next week. I am not going to attend meeting on Friday. Good. Okay, let me see who is missing. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Mm, no, ya pasó. José. Eh, José Abel. Ah, pan, William también, cierto. William. Um, I'm going to print several files 
and I'm not going to attend any training. Okay, very good. Jose Abel? Yes. Your turn. Okay. I'm going to attend the meeting all week at 8 a.m. I'm not going to design in the website. Okay, okay, okay. Who's missing? Quien falta? Quien falta? Okay, very good. Yeah, teacher. Oh, ah, okay, adelante. Sorry. I'm going to present exam my family. They are going to eat tonight. I I, I, I going to get, get up early tomorrow. And negative, I do not drink coffee every morning. It is not going to rain today. I am not going to sleep or good night. Okay, very good. Okay, okay. Remember, okay, be going to. Well, let's continue now with next lesson. Just... Oh. First, for this lesson, let's take a look to these uh, prepositions. These are prepositions. Okay, to talk about, uh, the idea is to uh, provide, ask for and provide short oral and written instructions to get the location. So to give, ask or give instructions. We're going to learn how to ask or give instructions about the location of a place. So for that, we use these prepositions. To talk about the location of a place, we use these prepositions. Next to, oh, we better use green. Next to, next to, in front of, around the corner, on the right, between, across the street, on the left, down the street. Repeat, please. Next to. Next to. You see, next, next. to. Next to. Next to. In front of. In front, in, front in front of, around the corner, around the corner, around the corner, on the right, on the right, on the left, on the left, on the left, between, between. Across the street. Across, Across the, the street. 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 Down the street. Down, Down the street. The street. street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. According to those prepositions, let's uh locate these places the hotel
the hotel is across the street. Guillermo, decirles que vengan a acostar. Anda a pagarles la tele y te vamos a acostar un ratito con ellos. The hotel is across the street. Bueno. Lástima que aquí no nos dan un punto de referencia, ¿no? Se supondría entonces que yo estoy here. I am here. Que se ve más. Yo estoy aquí. The hotel is across the street. Yes. Sí. Across. The gas station is around the corner. ¿Dónde está ahorita? Tomamos eso. Gas station. The van next to gas station. The bank. the bank is next to the gas station. So it should be this one. The ATM is down the street on the right. Down the street on the right. Okay. The restaurant is down the street on the left. Teacher. Hola. Eh, solo se puede usar down o también up on the street. You can use down and up or up. Uh, usually we use down the street. For example, um, Si voy en, en numeración, digamos, descendente, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo estoy en la Alameda Roosevelt, a la altura de la, por decir una avenida, ¿no? De la 75 avenida. Y lo que yo busco está más abajo en el sentido que no de subir o bajar, sino digamos, en la 65. Está en hacia abajo en, en cuanto a numeración. ¿Ya? Entonces diríamos down the street. Ahora, si va sobre esa misma calle en sentido ascendente, sería up the street. For example, if this is the street, okay. This is the street. I am here. And uh, let me see. Here is one, wait a moment.
Imagine that this is the main avenue, por decirle algo, ¿no? Esto sería la main, main street. Pongámosle main street. La calle principal. And this is uh, 65th Avenue. And this is 67th Avenue, and this is 69th Avenue. And this is 71st Avenue. And this is 73rd Avenue. Okay. Si yo estoy aquí, como la numeración va hacia arriba, numeración va hacia arriba, hacia allá sería up the street. Yeah. Y hacia acá sería down the street. Is it clear? I really appreciate your answer, people. Hello. Hello, teacher. Teacher. Sería como, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sería como, no se vea, como que va en su vida y el otro como va a bajar, algo así que le van a entender usted. No. Por la avenida. No ven bajada. No, no necesariamente. Okay, no street bajada. down. Y no okay. tiene que ver con la numeración. Ok. Tiene que ver con la numeración. Y lo que yo estoy buscando está más arriba en cuanto a numeración. O sea, la, la, he podido ir para abajo. Pero la numeración va subiendo. Entonces, es sobre esa misma calle, up the street. Pero si la numeración va bajando, down the street. Pero, ¿cómo la usaría? Tendría que poner, me imagino, como referencia... Ahí, por ejemplo, una avenida. Seven, seventy, eh, first Avenue up the street, me imagino. Es que eso, cuando usted dice up the street o down the street, significa que es sobre esa misma calle, que no tiene que cruzar a ningún lado. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahí solo le estaba diciendo en qué dirección. es hacia donde la numeración va subiendo o hacia donde la numeración va bajando okay. what is the difference between up the street and down the street pero significa sobre esta calle o sea, no, no, tiene que cruzar a otra justo sobre esta calle up the street o down the street ok, understood ok, ok
Okay. Now, uh -uh. when we give directions or instructions, we use the imperative form. This is important to know, okay? To give instructions, we use imperative. Imperative. And these are imperative sentences. Yeah. Go straight. That's a red. Go up or down the street. Go past. Turn left. Turn right. Walk down the street. Go on for two blocks. Take the first left or take the first right. So this is imperative. We use imperative to give instructions. One question about this sent these phrases. Do these phrases, these phrases have a, a subject? Do these phrases have a subject? Yes or no? When I say go straight, is there a subject in this sentence? Yes or no? No. Yo no veo. No. Correct. Walk down the street. No subject. Okay. So when we use a verb without a personal pronoun to give directions, that is the imperative. That's what's imperative. Right? Suba. Abra. Cierre. Camine. That is imperative. Look at this conversation. Good yes, morning. Sir. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning. Sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Instructions. Thank you. No problem. Okay. So for us or to give directions, we use imperative. We say, camine hacia abajo y gira a la izquierda de la calle. Así. Yeah, camine sobre la calle. Y gire, y gire a la izquierda. Cruce okay. a la izquierda. Lo aquí a los salvadoreños es allá de la niña bonita. <laughs> okay, so this is imperative. What we use to give instruction, to give directions. Let me show you other examples here. Maybe make makes easy. <laughs> okay, look at this map. Let me show you this map. Here you see a map, we have different places. We have a supermarket, theater, stadium, hospital, firehouse, museum, school, bank, post office, gas station, hotel, police, bus station, cinema, pharmacy, and cafe. And we have these streets, North Road, Hill Street, Maple Street, Central Avenue, King Street, River Street. Okay. The girl is asking questions to the boy. For example, excuse me, 
Do you know where the cafe is? Do you know where the cafe is? Aquí tenemos las diferentes respuestas. Tienen que unir la pregunta con la respuesta correcta. Yes, go straight on, turn left, you turn your right. Yes, go straight on, don't turn, go straight on, turn left, it's on your left, etc. Los voy a, a colocar en el WhatsApp y quiero que esa noche trabajen buscando cuál es la respuesta correcta para cada pregunta de acuerdo al mapa. Okay. Okay, give me a second. There you are. I'll put you in small groups to practice this. Okay, you have 10 minutes only right now, but let's see what you can do. Match the questions with the answers.
Okay, people. We're going to continue with that tomorrow to practice a little bit more about uh, imperatives, instructions, and prepositions. Okay. The last attendance, Alba Janet Jimenez didn't show up today. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you for attending. Good night. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Good night, teacher. Good night. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Germán Enrique González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Eh, Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Eh, Jose Abelis Aguirre. Here present teacher. Good night. See you. Good night. Jose Miguel Massa. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. Present teacher. Buenas noches. Good night. Eh, Magdiel Esaú Garcia. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy Lizette Gómez. Didn't show up. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Okay, good night. William Alexander Paniagua. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. And Henry Alberto Perez. Present teacher, good night. Okay, good night. Okay, Wendy. Hay algo en que quiera que reforcemos? ¿Tiene alguna dudas, preguntas? Te voy a ser bien sincera, teacher. Lo que me cuesta son unas oraciones. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Conjugar los, 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 los verbos con las oraciones. Eso sí me pasa. Ok. Me cuesta un poco. Pero en, en, ¿con qué lo revisamos? Por lo menos eso del, del going si sí me ha costado. Okay. En, los, en los tiempos. Veamos. Vaya, esto es lo que vimos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Se ve un poco rápido, ¿no? Porque eso, pues, es un repaso de lo que ya, uh -huh. ya trataba anteriormente, ¿no? Por eso, en una sola clase vemos el affirmative, el negative, questions. Todo un poco acelerado, pero veamos. Acá, la, la forma que estamos viendo... Esto se llama be going to. ¿Verdad? Be going to. Que, eh, todo esto es una forma de hablar acerca del futuro. Cuando ya uno tiene planes. Ya hecho, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo que nosotros decimos voy a. Eso es el be going to. Voy a. ¿verdad? 
Entonces, y se llama be porque eh, se usa el verbo to be. Pero recuerde que el verbo to be tiene diferentes formas. Con I, sí. am. Uh -huh. Con she, como con Sandra, es is. Sí. Uh -huh. Con you and Sam. Tú y Sam. Ustedes. Es are. You are. Con we, el verbo to be es are. Con they, el verbo to be es are. Por eso es que eh, dice be going to. Por ejemplo, I am going to. Este es el be going to. I am going to. Y lo que sigue después es el verbo. Work. Eso se nos da acá la estructura. Primero el sujeto. I. We be going to. Y después el verbo. Todas tienen ese orden. Sandra is going to complete the report. Uh -huh. Todas las afirmativas. Dijimos que las negativas básicamente le agregamos el not. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sí. Que las preguntas lo único que hacemos es eh, poner primero el verbo to be Después el sujeto. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. el going to. Y por último el verbo. Ese orden. Uh -huh. Entonces hay que seguir ese orden para armar las preguntas. Exactamente. Para armar las preguntas con... con ¿Qué? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuándo? Igual, hay que seguir este orden. Lo primero es la palabra de pregunta. ¿Qué? ¿Quién? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuándo? Después el verbo to be. Después el going to. Y por último el verbo. Entonces hay que, hay que dar un poquito más y hacer esas oraciones. En este caso que estábamos viendo el Big Going to, ¿verdad? Sí. Es, es bueno pues leer cualquier cosa que usted pueda leer para irse familiarizando con con la estructura del idioma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo que usted pueda buscar para leer en inglés, cosas sencillas, no cosas muy complicadas. Y leer, leer, leer. Porque eso le va ayudando a familiarizarse con la forma del idioma. Uh -huh. Eso le va a ayudar. Excelente, Chico. Ok. Lo voy a tomar en cuenta, Chico. Gracias. Bueno, bueno. Muchas gracias, teacher. Ok. Tenga feliz noche. Igualmente, teacher. Buenas noches.